guys, I just wanted to make a short video comparing a 12 volt compressor type RV refrigerator to an absorption refrigerator running on propane. Um, we have a perfectly good running absorption refrigerator in our 29 year old motorhome and the refrigerator is also 29 years old. Um, so before I swap the refrigerators, I wanna make sure that it's totally worth installing this 12 volt refrigerator. Um, we do about 25% of our time boondocking. Um, we have a little bit of solar on the roof and lithium batteries. Um, but I wanna make sure that this is something that our battery bank can handle before I swap them out. So this video is basically a brief comparison on the energy consumption um, of a 12 volt compressor type refrigerator versus a absorption uh, refrigerator running on propane. Um, I have the 12 volt uh, refrigerator in this cargo trailer to kind of mimic the situation that the absorption refrigerator is in, inside the motorhome. Um, the next four days are going to be about 75 to 80 degrees. And my plan is to put a watt meter on each, which will give us um, the wattage used over time. The watt meter will also give us other information like the peak voltage, uh, the peak wattage, and the peak amperage. But I think what I'm basically looking for and many of you are looking for is the amount of amps or the amount of wattage consumed over time, which will give us amp hours or watt hours. I believe the final results will show that the absorption refrigerator running on propane will consume quite a bit less than the 12 volt, but I just wanna see how much more the 12 volt refrigerator consumes um, before I go ahead with this installation. So if this is something you're interested in, maybe you do a little bit of boondocking or a lot of boondocking, um, and you're kind of torn as to if you wanna install one of these or if you need lithium batteries or wanna stay with your lead acid, um, this is probably the video for you, so stay tuned. Something else to consider too is my absorption refrigerator most likely is not identical to anyone else's. Um, probably close, but uh, what I did in the past, little background information is um, to get the refrigerator to cool a little better in the past, I added four of these 140 millimeter fans, cooling fans. There's two down below to pull fresh air in and two up top um, to exhaust the air out. So this refrigerator may not replicate um, your refrigerator, but maybe you can use this information to help you decide if this is something um, that you want to do also. So as you can see inside the refrigerator compartment in the back, I basically wired in a watt meter. Um, I just put it in between the source and the load of the refrigerator. Um, and once I turn this on and run it for about 48 hours, uh, we will be able to see how many amp hours, watt hours um, the refrigerator consumed. And I did the same thing for the 12 volt refrigerator. I have it running off a small 12 volt converter. Some of the benefits of a 12 volt refrigerator over an absorption refrigerator is uh, the space inside the refrigerator. The 12 volt refrigerator is about the same dimensions on the outside as the outside dimensions of the absorption refrigerator. So they will fit into the same space. Something else to note too is the cool down time for the refrigerators, meaning the time it takes for the refrigerator to cool down once you've turned it on. As many of you probably know, the absorption refrigerators um, take almost a day sometimes. I know our refrigerator, we would turn it on about 24 hours before we'd wanna load the food inside the refrigerator. The 12 volt refrigerator I've had turned on before already and it only took about an hour and a half I'd say to cool down from 70 degrees all the way down to 38 degrees Fahrenheit inside the refrigerator. Um, so that's a big difference. After 48 hours of running the test, we found that the absorption refrigerator consumed five amp hours or 68 watt hours per 24 hours while running on propane. Although the fridge operates well, it is 29 years old and sometimes has difficulty 
keeping up with our demands. We have already replaced multiple parts on the fridge over the years just to keep it running. The fridge also has its limits when it comes to inside space. The 12 volt compressor refrigerator consumes 25 amp hours or 340 watt hours per 24 hours. Although it consumed quite a bit more than our absorption fridge, it was clear that the other benefits outweighed that one factor, such as more space inside, better cooling, and the fact that it runs on unlimited solar power. We decided to install the 12 volt fridge based on our battery and solar system. This may not be the ideal fridge for you based on your RV power resources. I hope this video is helpful in making your own decision of what RV fridge will work best for you. If you guys have any questions, comments, or just some good information that could help others out, please put it in the comments. And don't forget, hit that subscribe button and stay safe on the road.